Emily, when she commits to something, when she needs something done, you can count on Emily. She's gonna get it done. When I noticed and found out that Emily had that talent of special effects makeup, I was like, wow, Emily, you're a natural artist. Doing special effects makeup is a lot like wearing a mask. You don't know what a person looks like, who they are, how much money they make, or anything about them. To me, that's the best part. Looking into somebody else's perspective by making them into a totally different person. Well, my first reaction when I found out she could do like special effects was like, wow, like there's something really different about you. Like you can do something that like one out of like every thousand people can do. It's not like every day that you find somebody that can do special effects makeup and make it look real. Me doing special effects makeup, what motivates me is just seeing the expressions on people's faces when you make a cut on somebody's mouth or like slash their eye and then you go out in public. I'm not saying you should go out in public with it, but if you do go out in public, it's like priceless reactions to people. People see you and they're just looking at you like, like what just happened is crazy, but their expressions are what keeps me doing it. I would have to say that Emily needs to be in the fields of film and art. Very naturally talented, she's very creative um, and loves to film, loves to create something from nothing. She planned to go to New York, NYU, and that was the best balance, New York. Actually, I have thought about a career path for Emily. I told her that she should actually be a makeup artist. I told her like, whether it's special effects or like regular like makeup, like she's really good with that type of stuff, like coming up with ideas, creative looks, like, that's something that she could really be good at. My favorite look so far would have to be my mouth prosthetics. I've done it a couple times already. When I put cuts on people's mouth, it looks like they don't actually have one. So people are looking at you like, is this guy the one talking or is this girl the one talking? So it's pretty cool to see people's reactions to that one. Two looks that Emily has done have been my all-time favorite. One time she did special effects on me. She um, put several cuts in my face and put cards in the cuts. Like somebody like slashed my face with uh, playing cards. It was like so cool and everybody thought it was real. Special effects makeup can range in cost. It really depends on what you have. Um, I use a lot of liquid latex. That's about $20, $30 a bottle, and you can do a lot of looks off of it. So I feel like it's not necessarily the cost of each individual makeup because that'll vary on what you want, but it's really just an investment. Like if you're willing to spend like $200 and buy all the basic needs that you would need, then it would be more than that, like more like that instead of an individual, like this look is gonna cost $10, this look's gonna cost 100 Well, I would like to finish by saying, Emily, pursue your dreams. I'm honored to be your mom. Um, we all have a gift, but your gift is creating something from nothing. She's uh, very Sorry. determined. And uh, when she needs something done, you can count on Emily. She's gonna get it done. I feel like anybody can be inspired by what Emily does. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to do special effects makeup, but it does mean they can see the ability in her um, to go outside of their comfort zone and do something that they really want to do, that they never like, you know, they second guess themselves, but then they eventually do it because they see some potential in somebody else like Emily and then they do it themselves. If anybody took anything out of this documentary, I would want it to be to follow your dreams. People always told me in my life that my dreams are too big and I don't have the financial means or the mental means to fill that dream in. But I've made it so far to the dreams that I think I can accomplish. And as long as you think you can accomplish your own dreams, that's all that really matters because you're gonna be the person that proves somebody wrong one day. And they'll look at you and say, wow, why would I judge her if I never even knew what she was actually capable of?